we're going to do a retest of this General Electric branded GE Appliances AEL08LVQ1 air the conditioner made in China this is an 8000 BTU unit from 2016 so probably was sold in the summer of 2017 has R410 when I tested this last year it did not seem to have a good charge it iced up on the bottom row and that was about all it did recently I had somebody propose in the comments box that I didn't wait long enough for the charge to come up to pressure and that is a completely valid proposition so we're going to test this and see if it works I'll let it run for like half an hour and we'll see what happens but this has been sitting outside here for all winter so hopefully it still works I just plugged it in I'm not even sure what to expect let's see what happens Hmm. The twin gain compressor powered on, as did the fan. It's reading 68, it goes down to 64. It is cooling off because the sun went down, but it should be in range for some time still. So, we'll see. We'll see what this does. I'll change it to cool. It actually moves a decent amount of air. I'm kind of surprised. Alright, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's check the... Gosh, it sounds awful. The coil's messed up there, but it's got plenty of airflow. It's not hot out right now, it'll be fine. Uh, let's check the power draw to start. So we have 3.5 amps, 460 watts, power factor 0.98. And the voltage is low because the clothes dryer is on. So we'll see what happens. It has gone up 0 0.03 amps since we've been looking at it. But uh, it's not rising rapidly. Oh, there it goes a little bit more. Alright, well, we'll give it some time. It is... Oh, there's some much better quality air conditioners. It is... 746, we'll check back at 815 or around there. It's 811. I'm going to check it a little bit early because it's going down to 67 degrees out and the display is already reading 66 and it's going to cut off at 64. So depending on how accurate the thermostat is, it could cut off at any soon. So let's see what the power draw is at this point. 3.84. It hasn't gone up in at least 10 minutes. I've been looking at it. 439 in the watts, power factor 0 0.98. So 3.84 out of. It started at like 3.2, so it didn't go up that much. So 3.84 out of. Let's see, what was it rated at? It was rated at. Six. So that's pretty low. So our ambient temperature is about 60, 68, 69. Well, this is the surface temperature, but according to this, the machine is 61. And it gets warmer as you go across. That's what it felt like, maybe not. 58, 56. So it's only giving about a delta 10. Let's say 66. The retain line is not sweating. No sweat. 
bracelet on there. It just sounds awful, like it did before. And the coil is, it's not cold. It's cold on, the, on a couple of rungs when it first comes in, like those two rungs where it first comes in are cold and sweating, but the rest is just not cold. Um, so 25 minutes of operation at 66 degrees to not get the coil down to temperature is something is wrong here. Fifty-eight, fifty-eight, sixty-six. Just not even giving a delta ten. I think the thing just is a piece of junk, or it's busted. I do hear some gas in there, but not as much as it should be. So I, I'm going to maintain my position that this has leaked most of the gas. I'll eat the other two because those obviously work just fine. But this one I think is actually busted.